All right, guys, it's time to rank all the alternate jerseys that the NHL teams wore this season and the 2022-23 season. These are all the jerseys that were worn by all the teams this year. All right, so let's get straight into the rankings. We have five tiers here. They're pretty self-explanatory. We have the best, drippy, decent, meh, and delete this now. So let's start with the Colorado Avalanche. I'm going to put this one in decent because it's a decent looking jersey overall. I like the colors. I like the style of it with that uh, alternate logo up front. But to me, the white on the shoulders just looks a little bit weird. Um, on the ice, it looks a little bit too bright. I wish it was just all navy and that maroon on the arms. I think that would have been a little bit better. I know it's about the mountains and stuff, but I don't know. I don't really see it. And next, we got the Cannon jersey for the Columbus Blue Jackets. This one is drippy. It's really drippy. And I'm not going to say it's the best because it's not my favorite color scheme. Although, I do like the cream and navy. I think it's sick, but it's definitely not the best, the best, in my opinion. I think a little bit of red in there would be a little nice, too. So, it's going in drippy. All right. So, next, we have the St. Louis Blues alternate. I'm going to go drippy for now. I'm going to go drippy. I think it's really a cool look for them. Um, I like the color combination, the old classic logo up front rather than the more polished modern one. I think that's a cool addition. Um, I think it's drippy, but not the best. I think it lacks a little bit of design elements to it. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. All right, so now we have the Bruins B. I'm going to go meh. Uh, just because of the logo, I'm just not a fan of like just the B being the logo. I think it just lacks a little bit um, compared to the other alternates we have here. But in terms of the actual design of it, I don't mind it. Um, I think the all black kind of look looks pretty good too. But just in comparison to all these other ones, I think it's just meh. And the Canucks, the Canucks, oh my goodness. I'm going to have to put it in the best this one looks amazing. They just brought it back this season to be their full-time alternate. And man, does it look good. It looks good in every regard. As a fan wearing this jersey, it looks great. The colors are just fantastic in my opinion. And that old skate logo. I mean, it's just amazing. That, that skate logo is so classic, so nice. Uh, everything just works together about this one. So... It's in the best, for sure. And now the Washington Capitals. I'm going to put in decent. I think I like it. Um, I'm going to put it ahead of this Colorado one. Just because I do like the colors. I like how it looks on the ice. It makes for a really good uniform as well. The uh, shoulder yoke. I like that uh, incorporation a little bit better than the Colorado Avalanche jersey. Uh, my only problem is with the logo. I'm not really a big fan of the W logo. It's just all right. It's not fantastic. but All right, the new Arizona jersey they just released this season. I'm going to go with Drippy. And here's the reason why. I think this jersey is so underrated. It is so underrated. I know it's just a wordmark logo and wordmarks you know, aren't the best in terms of logos, but just the style of this jersey, it was designed, like, super well. Um, you could see all the design story of it on YouTube, I believe. I believe they have um, their own content on their own uh, Coyotes channel, but yeah, it just looks fantastic. That burgundy wine color with that sandy color looks great. I love the pattern. And I love the wordmark logo. I think it looks sick. Now the New Jersey jersey logo. I'm going to put it in meh. Now I think in the actual uniform and on the ice, it looks pretty good. It's a nice like all black look for a team that doesn't have a lot of variation in their colors. I think it was cool that they brought it in. But just to me, it's not the best. I mean, it just says jersey on the front. I wish that was a little bit different. Um, but overall, I don't really mind it. I'm not going to say delete. I'm not one of those guys who thinks this is absolutely horrible. 
no, I think it's pretty good. I think it looks good on the ice, so it's in meh. And now the orange Anaheim Ducks, I'm going to go in decent. And now the reason I put it in decent is because I don't really love the orange color. I think it's a little bit too, like, bright. Like, it seems, like, really vibrant for a hockey jersey. Um, if they tone down on the orange, like, a, just a little bit, I think that would be better for the Anaheim Ducks brand. I do think, in general, it's a really nice jersey. But just it's a little bit too much orange for me. And also the collar, I think they kind of messed it up with that lace design. I don't really love it. Um, so it's going to go in decent. All right, now the Calgary Flames Blasty. I'm going to go in drippy, and this is going to go kind of near the top. It doesn't have that same effect that the Canucks one does, even though, yeah, it is the same colors. But I just think it looks so sick. You got that really cool design of blasty in front the all black look i do like that as an alternative kind of color um and it's just really like it's basic but not too basic like it's, just, it's clean enough for a, a kind of a funny jersey that it is i mean blasty the horse right there in front it's kind of a bit goofy but i think they really executed this design really well and now for Philadelphia, I'm going to go right ahead and delete this. It's not that I don't like this jersey, but it's just to me, if I was to delete one of these jerseys, it would be this one. I just think there's not really much to it at all. I mean, you got the primary logo, I guess it's whatever. Um, you got the all black look with the orange. I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. I, like, I even like the jersey logo better than this one, uh, which says a lot. So that one's going to delete. I wish they would make a brand new one. Just start from scratch, literally. And now next, we got the Vegas Golden Knights. This one used to be their home jersey, and for that, I'm going to put it in... Actually, no, I'm not going to put it in decent. I'm going to put it in drippy, kind of just behind here. Actually, at the end, um, I don't think it's the best alternate but just for me the charcoal looks so good on the ice it's such a good color for a uniform and i love how the gold really pops out in this jersey and the red as well so i do like a lot of the colors and the design elements to it so it's gonna go in drippy i think it looks really good for an alternate and now for the carolina hurricanes it's going in the best here it's so good you can't even argue that it's bad if someone goes down in the comments below and tells me how is it the best jersey tell me right now and we will have an argument in the comment section it is so clean that red is so powerful um it's such a vibrant red color it looks really good i love the silver detailing as well as the hurricane flags kind of along the waist i think that looks so cool it's back to their roots back to their heritage i think it looks really good definitely should be their home jersey for next season it's gonna be below the vancouver jersey just because it's not really unique it's something we've seen before so i'm not gonna rank it above that one but i do think it's just so good and now we got the new york islanders third jersey and i'm gonna go straight and delete this because to me, it just looks not good. Like, on the ice, whenever I see it on the ice, I just, like, I instantly feel like I don't like it. Like, it shouldn't be there. Um, I don't know why I feel that way, but it's just, like, it's too similar to their home jersey with the coloring. Um, I don't like the white on the shoulders, and I don't like the logo. The NY logo is just so basic and boring, like, I just want them to bring their actual logo into the jersey or make a completely different logo. There's so much missing from it. It's an old kind of design from their Brooklyn days. It's just not good. And now this next one is going to be completely different. It's the Jets Heritage jersey. And honestly, I don't know where to rank it. Um, it could be the best, but at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of the color scheme. Obviously, the logo and the jersey design are really good, but I'm not really so enthusiastic about the actual colors. So I'm going to put it behind the 
Columbus jersey right there. I think it fits in really well. To me, this one just looks so good. I mean, especially on the ice with the uniform, it looks so clean. The colors do match really well together. It's just a little bit dark, um, in my opinion, but it's a good change from their home jersey, and I like it a lot. All right, now the LA Kings. It's a newer alternate jersey for them. I'm going to put it in drippy. And I know a lot of jerseys are in this drippy category, but I just love the chrome detailing on the logo. I love the shininess of the arms too. And especially the images they released when they came out with these, I believe it was a year ago, but it just looks so good. Like under the lights um, in this studio image. I mean, man, it looks fantastic. I mean, I know it's not the most colorful, but I still think it just looks sick. I mean, especially if you wear this out on your own in the street, I think it looks really good. All right, the Toronto Maple Leafs alternate. I'm going to put it in the top end of decent. I don't think it is so drippy that it just looks fantastic. No, I mean, I don't know if you could say that. It's a simple design, but it does look good. So for this Leafs third jersey, it was designed by Justin Bieber. It is reversible, which is kind of cool. But to me, it's just a little bit uh, boring. I don't know. I wish they had a few more design elements to it. I don't know. It's just not as good as the other ones, but it's indecent. It's pretty good. All right. Now the Edmonton Oilers. This might be a bit controversial, but I want to put it at the back end of decent. I don't think it's actually, no, I'm going to drop it down to meh. If I could uh, get it in front of meh. Yeah, that would be good. All right. So just to me, the colors aren't fantastic. I don't like the duotone jersey, the monochromatic style. It's just not my favorite. I would never like buy this. I would never recommend it. It's just not that great. I mean, it's average. It's okay. That's why it's in meh. All right, for the Pittsburgh Penguins, I think it's really drippy. Um, and the reason why it's drippy, I'm going to put it in front of the Kings one. And the reason why it is drippy is because of the actual style of the jersey. I love the arm detailing and the striping, and I love the waist striping. In my opinion, I would argue that this style of jersey is better than the home one that they have right now. I would rank it ahead of the home jersey that they have right now, simply because the style that they have on the home jersey is just so template-y. Um, it, it looks like it came right out of the adidas template or whatever so i think this one looks really drippy even with the word mark it looks really good and now for the buffalo sabers goat head and it's going in the best the goat head is the goat of jerseys i'm gonna rank it actually ahead of the canucks jersey over here and the reason why is because it just looks so good from every angle i mean it looks evil Rasmus Dahlin even said it himself. The jersey makes them look evil. I think it looks sick. The dark black mixed with that unique stylization of the red, white, and that little silver detail on the arms. I think it looks so good. And I've seen this one actually in person. It looks as good as in the photos on TV. It looks great. I have a bunch of pictures up on screen. You'll see why. It just looks so drippy. And to me, it's the best out of all of these. And now, lastly, the Dallas Stars. I'm going to put them in decent. I like it a little bit better than this Oilers one, even though they are similar. Uh, just for me, this uh, green color just looks better than this weird orangey color for the Oilers. But in general, it's kind of the same. Like, I mean, it's not fantastic it's pretty cool and unique that it has this um fluorescent color but just in general it's not like better than any of these other ones and yeah it'll go in decent all right so let's see if i want to actually change my ranking a little bit because now that they're all on screen i could see you know which ones should go where all right i put st louis their third jersey in the best category just because of the colors. I think mean, they work really well with each other. And I love the uniform design. 
I think it's a little bit better than all of these other ones in the drippy section. So it's going to go up in the best. All right, this Kings one, I'm going to move up to the best. I know that might not be a popular opinion. I know a lot of people who don't like the chrome um, theme of this jersey. But to me, it just looks so good. I would buy this on its own. Even though I'm not even a fan of the LA Kings, like I would just buy this instantly if it was on sale or something. It looks great in my opinion, so it's going to go up there in the best. But yeah, that'll do it for this tier list ranking of the alternate jerseys. I kind of like this. This is such a fun video to make. I'm going to have more of these on the channel where I rank um, random stuff uh, pertaining to sports. I might do MLB up next, NBA, NFL. I might do all the sports. I might go into like EPL uh, and rank the kits and the badges and stuff. So if you want to see more of that, let me know down in the comments below. Type in what you want to see. I'll take any recommendations you guys have for ranking videos. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you next time.